bread, glorious bread, and not just one loaf, but 350,000 of them. That's how many loaves of bread are made in this bakery every day. And there are lots of different types of bread too. Wholemeal bread, white bread, seed bread, fruit bread, you name it, they probably make it. We all need to eat a mix of healthy foods. Bread gives us energy and can be eaten as part of a balanced diet. That's why it's so popular. And that's why bakeries like this one make bread 24-7, so that nine million fresh loaves arrive in our shops and supermarkets every day. So let's find out how they make all that bread. The story begins with flour. Flour starts life as wheat in a field. When the grains are crushed or milled, they turn into flour. It is one of the main ingredients in bread. Bakeries use so much flour that it has to be stored in huge drums called silos. Millers deliver flour twice a day in tankers. Sometimes it's white flour, sometimes it's brown or wholemeal. The flour is pumped from the tanker into the top of the silo. Do you know which other main ingredients are needed? They're just like the ingredients you would use to make bread at home. There's salt mixed with water, vegetable fat, and yeast, all stored in sealed containers connected via pipes to the bakery. Yeast is the special ingredient that will make the bread rise. To work well, it has to be kept at the right temperature. So in this room, computers constantly control its temperature. Extra ingredients, such as seeds and nuts, which are needed in smaller amounts for special types of bread, are kept in the storeroom. The main ingredients are pumped along overhead pipeways and straight into a giant mixer. Anything needed in lesser quantities, like the seeds or nuts, can be added by hand. To make perfect bread, the right amount of each ingredient must be used. If you were making bread at home or at school, you might use weighing scales. Here, a computer makes the calculations and helps the baker control the amount of each ingredient added from the hoppers above to the mixer below. The mixers here are so big, they can hold 250 kilograms of flour. The mixing blades can turn extremely fast, 360 complete turns every minute. They create a lot of energy to combine the ingredients. And after just four or five minutes of mixing, bread dough is formed. Right now, the dough contains a lot of water, but some of this will be lost during the later stages of the bread making process. The dough is divided into equally sized pieces. Each piece will make one loaf. If you make bread by hand, you would have to use your knuckles to shape or knead the dough. This takes quite a long time. But here at the bakery, a cone-shaped machine does the same job much faster. It moulds the dough into balls at very high speeds. After all that mixing and spinning, the dough has to be left to relax for a few minutes. This is called proving. As the dough sits on moving shelves in the prover, tiny air bubbles form inside it and it becomes softer. After about eight minutes, the first proving is complete. The dough is rolled, air bubbles are squeezed out, and it's shaped into the right length. Then it's into the tins and along the conveyor belt. Before it can be baked, the dough needs to rise. Remember that special ingredient called yeast? Well, it's the yeast that makes the bread rise. Like the yeast being mixed in this bowl, it will create little bubbles of gas inside the dough. This is called the final proving. It happens in this warm area and takes much longer than the first proving. As it sits at a temperature around 45 degrees Celsius, the yeast breaks down the flour in the dough. Little bubbles of carbon dioxide form and fill up the dough so that it rises. See how much the dough has grown after 50 minutes in the final prover. The finishing touches are added, perhaps a sprinkling of flour or a topping of seeds. And 
it's off down the production line again because the dough loaves are ready to go into the oven at about 260 degrees Celsius. This oven is 39 metres long. That's longer than a tennis court. Just 20 minutes later, delicious loaves of freshly baked bread appear. A loaf has to be perfect if it's to be sold in a shop. So all day long, the bakers test that the bread is just right in every way. It has to taste great and be the right size and shape. The loaves are sucked out of their tins. Warm bread can't be sliced, so it has to be left to cool down slowly in a temperature-controlled cooler. As it cools down over two or three hours, a nice soft outer layer or crust will form. Once the loaves are cool, they are sent off to be split, sliced and packaged. In this machine, the bread is bagged up. And every loaf is given a label with information about all its ingredients, where and when it was made. If a customer ever had a question about a loaf, Every single ingredient in it could be traced back to where it came from, thanks to the codes on these tags. In only four hours, the ingredients have been weighed, mixed, shaped, rested, left to rise, baked, cooled, and put into bags. They're stacked up to be delivered to shops, ready to be sold, eaten, and enjoyed. Twice a day, lorries pick up loaves from bakeries across the UK and take them as quickly as possible to the nearest shops. So wherever you live, they'll be nice and fresh when you buy them for your sandwiches and toast.